because I've been wanting to try this for a long time, right here on my parkway strip, this is buffalo grass. Buffalo grass is not known to be a deep green grass. It doesn't take a lot of water. It doesn't need a lot of nitrogen throughout the year, nitrogen fertilization. Uh, it's got that more of a lime green or a dusty green kind of color to it. As an example of the difference, I get back here and I look at my Kentucky bluegrass, far deeper green than the lime green of the buffalo. That's why I've really wanted to try putting down liquid iron on it, just to see how deep of a green that this can get. Now, this is the liquid iron that I'm using. It's got 15% nitrogen in it. It's basically a urea nitrogen. So the urea is going to help push green, but it's not going to push the green nearly as fast as the iron is all by itself. 6% of this bottle is iron. So if you're going to apply this product specifically, you're going to be pushing an immediate deep green within those first couple days, followed by a residual greening and growth effect by the nitrogen fertilization application. You could very easily just go out and apply straight liquid iron and not fertilize at the same time, but this grass right here hasn't been fertilized the entire year. So the entire year of 2024, this is May 5th right now, I've never fertilized it this year. The grass only woke up from dormancy not too long ago, so right now I'm interested in filling in the gaps. I want this grass to start spreading and fully covering all of the dirt. So it needs fertilizer, but I really want to test out just how deep of a green that this can get. So I'm going to use this Iron Boost product. I've never used it before, but I have used liquid iron products before, so I know how fast that they work. Iron Boost is supposed to be an iron product. Uh, greening effect product but i'm going to dose up my application for a nitrogen effect which means i'm going to be over applying iron to the area i don't believe it's going to be grossly over applying but i'm going to end up putting 16 ounces of this product down on 200 square feet of parkway strip that's going to give me the equivalent application of three quarters of a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet and an overdose Hopefully not too far of an overdose of iron on the same area. If I truly overdose on iron on the area, it's going to start looking a little bit on the blackish side of green. If it's just a really nice heavy dose, then it's going to deepen up into a nice deep green. But I've never seen anyone apply a large dose of liquid iron to straight buffalo grass before. So, hence the experiment. With products like this that come from Lawn Bright or Sunday or Simple On Solutions, they come in bottles like this where you can stick on a spray nozzle and connect it to your hose and just spray with your hose without equipment. I've done that most of the time when I use products like this. However, for this one, because I'm putting an over application of iron onto the area, I want to make sure that the over application of iron onto the area is actually kind of uniform across the whole area. So I'm going to be pouring half of this bottle into my tank sprayer, adding some water, and then doing a precision application over there on the parkway strip. All right, I'm filming this little segment at about six o'clock in the afternoon, just before I apply the iron. I'm gonna come back at about the same time of day to try to compare the color difference of the iron with the same lighting and the same sunlight trajectory on the lawn. The nitrogen is not gonna have much of an effect, if any effect at all, within the next couple of days. It will within the first like week to 10 days, but the purpose of this video really is to compare the color difference. How deep of a green can buffalo grass get? All right, now I've already applied all of the iron to the parkway strip, and then I decided to go inside and calculate how much I put down. Now, before I actually, like as I was pouring uh, the iron boost into my tank sprayer, I actually cited against not being so extreme. Uh, I went in over to my scale and weighed out how much I applied. It ended up being only about a quarter of the bottle. But 
when I consult the label recommendation uh, application rate for my Southern Ag chelated iron, like only chelated iron product, and compared it to the volume of iron boost that I put down, I essentially put down five times the recommended dose per thousand square foot equivalent. I mean, I just did 200 square feet. So I put down five times the recommended dose. So if you're looking at Iron Boost and you're thinking, oh, let's put down a regular application of this product, you're going to be enormously over applying iron. Since I only put down a quarter of the bottle, I actually only put down somewhere around like 0 0.38, 0 0.35, I don't know, some, something like that. It's below 0.4 ounce of nitrogen per thousand square foot equivalent. So it's not like a crazy high application rate of nitrogen. It's very normal, almost small application of nitrogen. But the iron is five times the recommended rate. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see if the buffalo grass can tolerate such a gross over-application. All right, it's been 48 hours exactly since I applied the iron to this parkway strip. And as you can see, it is not black. It's definitely darker green, however. Let me show you up close. I would say that this green is as green as I want it. If it gets any more green, it's going to start looking too green, unnaturally green, unnaturally dark. Now, I'm not going to say that you should apply five times the recommended application rate of liquid iron to your lawn. That would be irresponsible of me. But I do want this to go to show you that if you're thinking about putting liquid iron on your lawn and you're following recommended application rates, and if you make an error, you're unlikely to damage your lawn. What's crazy is last year I did an experiment using ironite. Ironite uses way more percentage of iron per, uh, per application based on the bag. It's like 20% of the bag is iron, but it's granular granular iron oxidizes and it doesn't affect the grass anywhere nearly as fast or as significantly as liquids do. So last year I over applied ironite to a part of my lawn and although you can see the liquid iron made this grass greener, the over application of ironite didn't do anything whatsoever. I'm going to link to that video up here in the corner if you'd like to see because I compared the difference between granular iron and liquid iron. You might be interested in taking a look at that. It might set your mind at ease if you're thinking about applying iron to your lawn to push a deeper green, especially after you've watched this video. It's actually pretty hard to over apply iron. As for Lawn Bright's Iron Boost product, the product that I used in this experiment today, is it the best iron product of them all? Eh. It's hard to say what is the best, but it's one of the better ones that I've ever used. It's one of the more interesting ones that I've ever used because it has so much nitrogen in it. I've used a variety, a wide variety of liquid iron products on my lawns before. And I have an entire blog post where I refer to and reference and compare many of the iron products that I've already used, which I've linked to down in the description below. So if you're thinking about putting liquid iron on your lawn to deepen up the green or to uh, alleviate a chlorosis problem that you might have for one reason or the other, make sure to take a look at that blog post right now.